All right, you fuckers asked for it, and I was too lazy to do it, but now I'm not. So, Q&A 3, woo. Hooray. Hand gestures. What Don special guest? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tony is not here, but there are women's rejoice. Here's some initiative fucking stale to the end of the video. So, she will play the role of the infamous Tony because he is dead tired and or I didn't want to do another Q&A regarding stupid questions. But she sent me stupid questions anyway. So, here we go. First question. Oh, fucking son of a bitch. No, that does not count. That is from June. Okay, so, first... Question what, is, what, was, uh, weren't I supposed to read the questions or Just something? read the questions, jeez. Oh. Okay, question number one. Will the Fuse and Tony experience end when you move to the new motherland of Holland? I don't have the slightest clue. I mean, um, well, for one, the internet exists still. Hopefully it will exist till at least when we die this uh, glorious December. So, um, I don't know. Playthroughs will be an issue, maybe, but otherwise, no. We will have our gay bromance through Skype every day. Next. Okay. Uh, is this what Tony looks like? Hi. You're supposed to read up, but let's oh. see if this is what Tony looks <laughs> like. Hi. I'm, I apologize. Probably. I am not a professional. <laughs> yes, because this is very professional with my rickety mic. Um, Tony Walkai looks like a drunken pirate passed out. And I have a photo to prove it. Isn't but I will... that what he always looks like? We're taken. Um, but yes. <laughs> this is going splendid. Okay, read up. <laughs> have, you, have you or Tony ever been to Rack City? What's that? Google it immediately. Fucking okay. Um, we live in Bulgaria. <laughs> okay, first off, <laughs> fuck rap music. <laughs> Rap music got bad after about 2006 when Exhibit stopped doing stuff and I am Yo, dog. <laughs> I heard you like rap music. Oh, fuck you, internet. I like rap music, but rap music is now dead because, well... Yeah. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. <laughs> tricks ain't shit without hoes and bitches or something along those lines. Let's just... <laughs> no, ignore that. Um, this. Okay, I read the KKK... I read the KKK on KFC and they use the seasoning that stops black folk from having children. How do you get away with this? Oh, you answered it. I have no fucking... What? Well, uh, a few days ago, my parents and I went to KFC and there was this very lovely black couple who were buying fried chicken and I see nothing wrong with that. Uh, but they had no kids, so... so I don't know, explain must, <laughs> Conspiracy must stand true, because obviously the KKK still exists, which they totally didn't disband in, like, a long time ago, but never mind, I guess reading stuff on the internet isn't an acceptable option when asking questions for a very, very serious video. Sarcasm. Okay, next. What? Could my website be the official sponsor for the Q&A? Bagsofcrab.net. Well, if this <laughs> domain works, I will shoot myself. <laughs> well, it seems that Bagsofcrab.net actually exists. Oh, I want that. <laughs> I... What? Well, um... If anyone out there wants to buy literally a bag of poo, there is one for <laughs> there's one for five pounds, one for ten pounds with even more crap in it, and a <laughs> giant box of crap, literally. This looks so professional. This... <laughs> I'd be surprised if he didn't throw that like ten minutes, throw it together. Kudos, that is the most professional bags of crap shopping website I have ever seen. And I'm speechless. I can't believe this link works. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Okay, another question from the same person. Did you ever watch Jews on a Cruise? Uh, this that show was also really bad. Yeah, this is the crap that they put on British television. I thought the only thing they showed in England was Doctor Who. How was that a question even? Oh, did you? Okay, so. Did you? 
question so mark. did you i googled it apparently it's an episode of something on the bbc too and the bbc is clean as they are they tend to be wholesomely insecure about their racial thingies you know i wish that at least once in my life i will see a british person and the bbc will not be mentioned i'm british no you're not that doesn't count i don't know i've seen british people and i question them about the bbc because i'm a nerd and top gear okay no i will not speak bulgarian god damn it no wait wait plug plug time if you want to hear you know the fuse and me but that aside because i don't matter speak in bulgarian oh, and fuck. also no. see the way we look like oh, uh fine i'll can... link it i will link it we start in a comedy sketch <laughs> where he plays a desperate guy trying to pick up a girl and i play which bar is totally different from reality because uh go on uh so if you want to see us you know speak and be real you can watch that video. It's funny, but unfortunately, there are no subtitles in English. I wanted to put them, but, uh, you know, the higher-ups didn't want to do it. And by higher-ups, I mean... Fucking Tony! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker block progress! No, I mean, it wasn't really my place to ask for it. It was his project, after all. He did the writing, so... Uh... Fuck, no, it's not true. Cut, fuck... Okay. So... <sighs> Oh, also, uh, the lawnmower also um, stars in that sketch. I believe he's the bartender. He is the bartender, and he ruined every. Okay, we can get into this. The lawnmower ruined every. No, he didn't. Bucket. He was funny. When he didn't ruin it, Tony and the other people ruined it. I he fucking did. The I ain't coming out of my trailer until I have catering. <laughs> Proverbial trailer, of course. But, um, yeah, when <laughs> the lawnmower was, he was, the dude was supposed to give me one thing. He did it, like, he, thrice he did it wrong, and once he almost hit me in the face with it. So, yeah. They don't know if it's real, I'm just making shit up on the spot. Uh, <laughs> he wrote a poem for the Tonys. Okay, we have to guess my better judgment. Tony is T Dog? Wow. No, 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 I see all caps. All caps give me AIDS. Oh, come on, don't be so mean. He's your fan. <laughs> did this twice. Come on, give him at least the happy ending, something. Oh, no. Oh, you give him the happy ending. You're the, you're the appropriate gender. I ain't talking. I have male genitalia. <laughs> okay, I'll jerk him off. Fine, whatever. I have a condition called bashful testicles. <laughs> That's why my voice is so high. <laughs> next question. Uh, where's the next question? All you do is scroll. I can't see shit. Will the lawnmower ever be a special guest on the Q and A? No, you get me. <laughs> Which is ironic because this is the first special guest. Um, maybe. I don't know if when I'll come home in December for a while. So maybe I'll drag the lawnmower into a Q and A. Oh, that's gonna be the most awesome video on the interwebs. Yes, me having... Why? <laughs> Got you. I, I, oh, I didn't hell? listen to you. I didn't hear shit. <laughs> um, now what? Well, we move on to the next one. Basically, yes, the lawnmower may be a special guest in the future. This one. My friend made a game where you are an egg and you have a gun. If I send it to you, will you review it? Fuck yes, well, I will review it. I think I've played something like this. It was called like... Oh god, there was this stupid British franchise of games about something called Dizzy the Egg. And that's real. And, uh... <laughs> there was this really obscure, stupid Flash game where Dizzy the Egg went on a murdering spree and killed like... Salad dressings. No comment. I'm pretty sure I was... No, no, yeah, that maybe doesn't exist. Another one of... Is this what Tony looks like while high? And I'm... Yes, it's the same thing. Tony is like a breakout <laughs> character in this whole channel or something. He deserves his own channel, which he actually has, but I will not spoil it because he posts fucking nothing there. 
In Donkey Punch the film, why is there a hedge cutter on a boat? Oh, okay. Is that how we're gonna play? What? what? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. So, bad habit. I got it. Nope, it's out there. Now I have to live with it. <laughs> Fine, you read the... <laughs> sad now. I feel like a dick. Um, I, I forgive you. <laughs> Forgive him, father, for he did not know what he had done. <laughs> Jesus, I need redemption. Okay, uh, so will you answer that question or not? I don't know what Donkey Punch the film is, and... Well, Donkey Punch is usually when you have anal sex with someone and you punch him behind the neck. At least that's what I've heard. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, I learned what Donkey Punch is, and, uh, you are sick. <laughs> Go. Go. Next question. When I eat, uh, refreshers, I don't feel refreshed at all. Am I broken? Do any other Fuse fans suffer from this? What is a refresher? Well, uh, I think Mentos or something. They usually make me drool. I don't know why. <laughs> so. That is a common problem, because Mentos is delicious. I may have diabetes. On that note, That's which is not, not funny. funny, but uh, hey, if I suddenly collapse during a commentary, I'll make sure to post it before I die from gurgling on my own everything. Next question. <laughs> Do you and Tony follow any sports? What's your, what's your favorite, if any? Um, what are sports? What I don't are know. sports? <laughs> I don't have a slide. Wait, hold on. You are lying. You are. Oh, okay. No. Um. You are lying. You told me you go swimming. That's not following a sport. That's act actively participating in a sport. That's a well, isn't that the same thing? I mean, not in the slightest. Because following. I apologize. I am woman. I do not know what sport is. Lol, go back in kitchen sandwich. I am. <laughs> I did the wacky flaming arm inflatable tube man <laughs> for some reason. Uh, no, I hate sports because I am a nerd. I also hate Madden. So if you're American, you can. Man, stay for they don't run away. But yeah, I don't care in the slightest for sports. Tony the, used to follow football once and go what? Uh, you know, ju ju before I move on to the next question, I would just like to say that football, not soccer, football is, you know, a very favorable sport in our country. And usually that's the sport most people follow. But we're not uh, sports fans. How really. dare you be coherent? Okay, the next question is actually a good one. So answer, you know, somewhat seriously. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? By the way, your means something you own. You, apostrophe, R-E means you are. I'm sorry for being a bitch, but just, please. I would have done it if you didn't, so that's okay. Um, when or how, I guess... First, I was gonna say how, but now that I think about it, maybe when? So I can at least get a bucket list together. I mean, if I'm dying, might as well do stuff. And plus, it's gonna be like exciting. You're like, ah, I'm, gonna, I'm about to die in half an hour. What is gonna happen? Well, you know, I, I wouldn't wanna know when I'm going to die because uh, you get stressed. I mean, chaos is the only thing that uh, kind of opens you up to new experiences and if everything's fixed and you know how you're going to die you'll probably do everything in your in your power to avoid it and that will somehow lead it lead you to your death or something i i i don't know That's i am like woman i cannot i cannot is it the I final destination think. no it, it, there is a certain point to that but still it, it really depends on the person who it really depends on the person you're asking because like i said me when is most preferably to how? Because how is, like you said, I'm, I'm going to try and avoid it, maybe. Then when, that's fixed. How is not really um, predictable. Uh, I wouldn't want to know it either way. I mean, I'm a very stressed out person. I mean, before we actually recorded this Q&A, there were like 15 minutes of, no, I can't do it. I don't know what to say. They're going to hate me. So, yeah, me dying, I'll leave that up to chance. Is this what Tony looks Come on, people! Tony is a pirate when he is high. And there is Final. a cat next to him. There is a cat next to him. God damn it. 
Okay. Oh, will you ever do a video with Mr. and Mrs. Fuse? Who do you mean? Oh, my parents? Isn't, isn't Tony and... Isn't Tony and Mrs. Fuse? <laughs> oh, boo. Uh, well, if you're following Dyke Slash Johnson, fiction! If anyone writes slash fiction, I will read it. I will make a video and I will fucking read it. I swear to God, with dramatic music and everything. Well, if Tony's Mr. Fuse by that logic, we've made like 10 billion videos already, so... As far as my, as far as my parents know, they can't care. They can't bring themselves to care. They rarely visit me, man. I'm lonely. I am... I am lonely. I'll fix that. <laughs> Okay, next question before this gets weird. <laughs> FYI, you made it weird, not like me. Like it isn't weird already. Um, Would you agree that the relationship between you and Tony could be described as a brobonic plague? That is the most accurate description I've ever heard of our relationship. I would say more like a rad bromance. Oh, God, in a rad bromance. Ugh. I'm stabbing myself with the AC remote. Fuck it. Um, yes. Well, depends. Yes. We're constantly trying to kill each other when we are actually really at each other's necks. So, yes. We. Yes. Okay, the next question is directed at Tony, so I'm just gonna skip it. And the uh, next question is by the same person, and it's in caps lock, except, you know, the, first the letters that are first supposed letter. to be in caps lock aren't. What is your new YouTube channel background? It scares and confuses me. What does it even say? She made it. She made it. I made it, and it says Cunt Destroyer. <laughs> There's an alter alternate one, which might show up in the future. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's a picture that uh, yeah, that's actually of Tony, me, and the Fuse. And uh, the Fuse kind of made this face. And I thought it was fun. <laughs> so... Yeah, Cunt Destroyer. <laughs> Keep in mind, it was 2 o'clock in the morning when we made that decision. We weren't really, um, awake. I don't regret it, but... It <laughs> My god, is it insane. I am an artist. I'm <laughs> temperamental. By the way, I really am an artist. She so. is. She is. Plug in. <laughs> Look. Holla holla get paid. <laughs> YouTube monies. <laughs> Mm, would you agree that your channel is the fest zone of the interwebs? Huh. Haven't you seen the background? <laughs> More plugins. I came here to fuck bitches and review games. There ain't no bitches here, which means I'm in danger. That was actually really sweet. <laughs> On a scale from one to nasty, how sick is your channel? I say about three, uh, 8.3. Uh... How sick. It varies um, from Jesus get me out of here to love, friendship, and... Tolerance. Cutie marks, I don't know. Oh god, fuck, that was a My Little Pony reference. Shit, I am not a brony. No, refuse, I am not a brony. I am just currently watching a Phoenix Wright My Little Pony crossover that has nothing to do with ponies. Also, I've seen a lot of horse hands. Twilight Sparkle. Shut up, she's voiced by Tara Strong. Tara Strong can do no wrong. That's not a catchphrase, I just made that up. Tara Strong also voices Harley Quinn and that girl in Lollipop Chainsaw. <clears throat> Next question. <laughs> I know this question may upset you, but please answer. Who is sicker, Byram or Papa Papa Chow Chin Ying Poi Koi Loi Moi? Jesus. Next question. <laughs> I would say Papa Papa Chow Ching Really, Ying, you have to Poi, repeat Koi, that? Koi, Loi, I'm gonna get flagged for racism hardcore. <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> Why are they called stairs inside but steps outside? Bruh. 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 That's like, I would like two large medium pizzas. <laughs> oh, that is deep. No wonder everyone hates us. <laughs> Dear Tony, can you match box? Can you? Can a match box? No, but a thing can. 
Yours sincerely, oh, from, I, Kathleen. I was trying to desperately figure out what that meant. God damn it. How many holes in Apollo? Four. At least that's what I think. How many holes in a... What? Have you ever played the impossible quiz? None the slightest, no. Then you have not lived. <laughs> what is your favorite episode of Burnt Face Man? Mine's number two. Burnt Face Man. Wow. That is a great question to go out on. Because <laughs> this is actually the last one. Uh, how are you supposed to answer something so poetic, really? And with that vague answer, thank you! Q&A number three. One more question. One more question. What's your favorite color? Uh, giraffe. Thank you, bye.